Hi everyone, I am Dr. Daniel Salim. Today we are going to discuss about gestational diabetes. It's a type of diabetes that can develop during pregnancy in women who don't already have diabetes. Every year around 5 to 10 percentage of pregnancies are affected by gestational diabetes. So managing this gestational diabetes will help to ensure that you have a healthy pregnancy and a healthy baby. So what are the causes of gestational diabetes? So most important cause include when your body cannot make enough insulin during the pregnancy. As you know, insulin is a hormone made by our pancreas that acts like a key to let blood sugar into the cells and use as an energy. So during pregnancy, your body makes more hormones and goes through other changes like weight gain. So these changes cause your body's cell to use the insulin less effectively than normal. This is called insulin resistance. And this insulin resistance increases your body's need for insulin. All pregnant women have some sort of insulin resistance during the late pregnancy. However, some women have insulin resistance even before they get pregnant. So they start pregnancy with an increased need for insulin and are more likely to have gestational diabetes. So what are the symptoms of gestational diabetes? Gestational diabetes typically does not have any symptom. Your medical history, whether you have any risk factors may suggest that you are going into gestational diabetes or not. There are some sort of symptoms you need to know and those symptoms are increased thirst, fatigue, difficulty in vision, excessive urination, yeast infection in your private area. These are the some of the common symptoms which we see. So now we will discuss about testing of gestational diabetes because that's, that is very important to know the values in gestational diabetes that will protect your health and your baby's health. So gestational diabetes usually develops around the 24th week of pregnancy. So you will probably be tested between 24th and 28th week of your pregnancy. If you are at higher risk for gestational diabetes, for example, you have overweight or if you have a previous gestational diabetes, you have to test it little earlier. There are two types of test. There is one, te one step test and two step test. I will explain about one step test. So in one step test, your doctor will start by testing your fasting blood sugar level. Then they will ask you to drink a solution containing 75 gram of carbohydrate that is some sugar solution. Then they will test your blood sugar again after one hour and two hours. So they will diagnose you with gestational diabetes if you have uh, any of the following blood values. So first if your fasting blood sugar value is more than or equal to 92 milligram per deciliter you may have gestational diabetes. After one hour, your blood sugar level, if it is greater than or equal to 180 milligram per deciliter is also significant. Two hour blood sugar level, if it is greater than or equal to 153 milligram per deciliter is also suggestive of gestational diabetes. So how do this gestational diabetes affect the pregnancy? See, most of the women will have a normal pregnancy with a healthy baby and do not worry much. However, this gestational diabetes can cause some problems such as baby growing larger than usual and this may cause some difficulties during the delivery and increases the likelihood of needing induced labor or a cesarean session later on. The second problem is polyhydraminous that means too much aminotic fluid. Aminotic fluid means the fluid that surrounds the baby in the womb so which can cause premature labor so what is premature labor premature labor means delivery before the 37th week of pregnancy is called premature delivery so that is also another problem of gestational diabetes another issue is preeclampsia in this condition it causes high blood pressure and it is very dangerous because it can lead to seizure in pregnancy and many complication if not treated well another problem is developing low blood sugar for the baby when she or he is born which may require treatment in the hospital very very rarely you can lose 
your baby that is called stillbirth don't worry much this is very very rare so having gestational diabetes also means that you have an increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes in the future so this you have to keep in mind how can we prevent this gestational diabetes so before you get pregnant you may be able to prevent the gestational diabetes so we have to know about this you have to lose your weight if you are overweight and getting regular physical activity helps to control gestational diabetes but do not try to lose weight if you are already pregnant you will need to gain some weight so always you have to discuss with your doctor you should not lose your weight too quickly in pregnancy so talk to your doctor about how much weight you should lose or gain during the pregnancy what exercise which you have to do so the treatment of gestational diabetes most importantly we need to monitor certain things we have to check your blood sugar value periodically that is the most important treatment uh, then we have to check other blood test if the doctor ask you to do some test and we have to keep everything in the healthy range you have to eat healthy food in the right amount at the right time so following a healthy eating plan created by your doctor or a dietitian will help you to control the gestational diabetes you have to be active regular physical activity that is uh, moderate intense exercise like brisk walking which lowers your blood sugar and makes you more sensitive to insulin so your body will uh, won't need insulin as such always make sure to check with your doctor about what kind of physical activity you can do every day and if there are any kinds of exercise which you have to avoid you have to discuss with your doctor usually we have to aim for 30 minutes of moderate activity in most of the days of the week running walking swimming and biking are some of the recommended exercises which doctors will ask for you to do then you have to monitor your baby as well you have to check for ultrasound whether uh, seeing for the baby's development as well so what should you eat if you have gestational diabetes that's a very important thing which you have to know a balanced diet is key to properly manage the gestational diabetes in particular people with gestational diabetes should pay special attention to their carbohydrates protein and fat intake the key step is eating regularly as often as every 2 hours can also help you to manage your blood sugar level appropriately first we will discuss about carbohydrates you have to properly space your carbohydrate rich food that that will help to prevent the blood sugar spikes so always speak with a registered dietitian to help with the meal plans the health promoting carbohydrate choices include whole grains whole grains you have you can take brown rice is okay beans peas lentils and other legumes starchy vegetables uh, low sugar fruits are all recommended for protein the pregnant woman should take 2 to 3 servings of protein each day the good sources of protein include lean meat not red meat and poultry fish all are good fat you should eat you should take unsalted uh, nuts seeds olive oil avocado all are good fat source the food which you you should avoid are fried food then food which are high in saturated fat and trans fat especially this uh, fried potato and all salted food you have to avoid artificial sweetness baked food candies ice creams and beverage with added sugar such as uh, the juice regular soda and regular sports drinks energy drinks you should avoid processed food is not good processed grain such as white rice or white flour is not good for gestational diabetes and white bread also you have to avoid if healthy eating and being active are not enough to manage the gestational diabetes you have to discuss with your doctor and you need to start insulin or metformin depending upon your condition so in summary there are five points so gestational diabetes is diabetes that occurs during pregnancy and when the pregnancy is over 
the diabetes usually disappears and we have to adopt healthy lifestyle so the women who have gestational diabetes have a high risk of developing type 2 diabetes later a healthy lifestyle is important for both mother and baby to reduce their risk of diabetes in the future and if you have had a gestational diabetes before in future pregnancies you will have a test done earlier than earlier in the pregnancy to check that your blood sugar is in the normal value so you have to modify your life accordingly to control the blood sugar level so kindly share this information with everyone this is a very important topic regarding diabetes in pregnancy we will come with an another good topic soon take care